Shows and artists have been taking the stage at the Nice Wonger Performing Arts Center in Greenville for almost 20 years. It's a staple for entertainment in the county. We do about 30 shows a season. Um, our season typically starts in August and runs through May. And um, we have a lot of events still left in the season. Uh, coming up soon, we have Brett Michaels, uh, who is of course the poison front man. And then we also have Brian Culbertson. And then for Christmas, we have Home Free, Rhythm of the Dance, it's just a Celtic Christmas show. But before it became the state of the art facility it is today, its original purpose was for the local high school. It was originally going to be about an 800 seat auditorium for Greenville High School. And there was a group of businessmen um, who came together and brought the funds to turn it into a performing arts center. One of those businessmen was Scott Nicewanger, a public figure working to improve education in the area. And PAC doubles as an education opportunity for local schools. We love when we can uh, bring students in, when we can bring students on the stage. It's just absolutely some of our favorite things to do. Um, the, the arts education series is you know, just wonderful when we have 20 buses parked out front and students walking in when they're just in awe and they're experiencing theater for maybe the first time. Another benefit is tourism. People come to Greenville from all over just to see a show. About 45% of our audience is local Green Countyans and about 55% is outside of Green County. Outside of Green County can mean the Tri-Cities, it can mean Colorado, it can mean Canada. Um, we actually, this season, uh, we already have had visitors from 36 states. The next show at the center will be Brett Michaels on November 16th. In Greenville, Leah Johnson, News Channel 11.